Yeah, this shows to be the main one on the map. Okay, so we found the primitive camp that we found last night uh, when we were out riding before we got into the snow up on the peaks, which you guys probably saw in the video or a previous video or maybe at the beginning of this video. I'm not sure I'm going to do it yet. Um, anyway, we got to the camp today. We parked our motorhomes there and we're getting out on our first real trail ride here, which is pretty awesome. Like <clears throat> green, soft dirt. This is the first time we've aired down on this trip. This is red dirt. Not red, green. soft dirt, I mean, not green. Um, so, anyway, we're coming to a gate here, so I'm gonna get out and check this out. Stay tuned. This is going to be our last episode leading up to our trip to Moab. Uh, the next couple episodes that we do here at Off-Road Recon will be in Moab. Stay tuned at the end of this video to see a sneak peek of the next episode shot in Moab. Alright, so we have been out here riding, I don't know, four or so hours now. And we just took an old county road out in the middle of the BLM. And uh, as you can see, it kind of wide off here and it went up to like this rock bluff. Well, we thought that the rock bluff was it and it just went out there to that and that was gonna be the end of it, but we were wrong. You can stay on that trail and we've been on it probably, I mean, a mile doesn't seem like much, but a mile takes a long time out here. Um, and if we can stay on it and kind of hook around, it'll take us back to the end of the county road that goes back over to our camp. So we're gonna try um, to see if we can follow all the way through. Problem is here, there's all these ravines and gorges and mountains and rocks and all these obstacles. So you may come to, this, to the trail where it's like a sheer drop off. So anyway, we've had a lot of fun. The kids have been sliding on the rocks. You guys are having fun with that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, I'm and uh, Brandy's gotten a real workout because she gets our shots at the bottom of the hill and then uh, we can't really back back down it so she ends up running all the way up these rock bluffs and stuff so she stroked out in here a minute ago we got her back to life is that all that yeah. one little laugh that's, that's all you're gonna give us you told the whole story all we done. The story's told stay tuned
Back in the Jeep, and we just got done climbing the uh, big round sandy looking rock that we've been trying to get over to. And boy, was it a climb up there! We're all wore out. Well, you know, of course, climbed up and down it about five times. He's a maniac mountain dog. Um, 
So we're wore out. We're gonna try to head back for camp. We probably got about an hour and a half drive back. And uh, hopefully we can kind of beat the daylight. It's uh, you know five o'clock, so I think we should be all right. And uh, see if we can cook up some dinner and just kind of relax the rest of the evening. So does that sound good to everybody? Yeah. And Clara was the first girl to get on top of the mountain. Yeah, Clara yeah. made it. Claire made it to the top of the mountain. She was brave. Claire and Brandy kind of brought up the rear. We were terrified. Why did drag them up? I wasn't that terrified <laughs> when, I, when I was walking with Daddy. Yeah, you got better, but you had a part where I thought you were going to panic. Anyway, it was a lot of fun, and we got a good workout today, and this high elevation's killer. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Mommy, you can't just Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully have a good dinner to show tonight. Hopefully have a good dinner to show tonight. We might do some steaks. We'll see. I don't know. Victory. See how wore out I am by the time we get back. But. Alrighty. <laughs> There's still more on the other side. They're on both sides scattering. Alright, so we're out here at a camp for one night. Because here's the deal out here in uh, San Juan County or any other county out here in Utah. Once you're here, you have 24 hours to leave. So you post a camp and then you go move for 24 hours. So now we're here, we're going to cook us up some steaks over this nice fire, this beautiful scenery that we got here. And uh, try to enjoy our night. Then we're going to move to the next county and we'll have 24 hours there. And we're going to have some fun out of Moab. Meanwhile, since we are quarantining, we're staying away from everybody. The most interaction we've had with other people is sheriffs coming to our door to our camp and telling us we have to leave. So they're spreading their germs on us. Uh, we're going to stay quarantined. After we get down in Moab, we're going to work our way over to uh, Colorado. And uh, hopefully we can kind of finish out our trip there in Colorado since Utah makes you leave every 24 hours. So stay tuned here. So we can get some food shots of what we're cooking up, and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Look good. Yeah, everything looks good. Got these steaks going. Got these mountains in the distance here. We drove right up that one yesterday. And that was where we got in that snow. Now we're just going to enjoy kind of sitting here and watching the mountains and have a nice ice cold beer, some steaks, some asparagus, some green beans, and some fried potatoes. catch you all on the next one. We're going to keep trying to bounce around here and stay quarantined in the BLM while we're still trying to stay in different counties. So, really stupid law. Maybe look at that. We'll catch you all later.